Hi, it's Miss Becky with Miss Becky's Musical Stories, and today we're going to read The Pout Pout Fish in the Big Big Dark, written by Deborah Dyson, illustrated by Dan Hanna. Remember, the illustrator is the person that did the pictures, drew them, or painted them, and the person that wrote the book is called the author. This is our front cover, and this is our back cover, and I look I'm looking at a lot of sea animals, so I'm thinking that is what the story is about, some sea animals. So Mr. Fish is scared of the dark, and Miss Clam and Mr. Fish have a big problem. So let's think of the problem while we're listening to the story and help think of a solution, how to fix the problem. A doozy of a drowsy made Miss Clam yawn. Then a big current whooshed, and her pearl was gone. I'm wondering if that's a problem. Mr. Fish swam forth. Miss Clam, don't weep. I'll find your pearl. That's a promise I'll keep. He swooped through the water, swishing close to the sand, and he eyed every inch of the busy bottom land. What is he looking for? So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flit fluttered, Miss, Miss Fish grew grimmer. She's grimmer. It looks like she's sad. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin. But I'm scared of the dark. Hmm. I wonder if that's a problem too. He kept on searching all along the ocean floor. Hmm. What is he searching for? Through a reef, through a wreck, swimming fast, far from the shore. That's a shipwreck. Mr. Fish felt a pout pout poach on his hope. Then the whisper from before said, it's down beyond the slope. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flit fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. Oh, it's getting dark as he goes deeper. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin. But I'm scared of the dark. A whirl of a wiggly worms made a search team swirl and they helped with the hunt for the yawn, yawn gone pearl. Oh, so the pearl is what they're looking for. But nothing was discovered. Mr. Fish, Fish felt despair. Then the soft voice whispered and then trench, check there. I wonder where the trench is. Hmm. 
So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flip fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. And this says, come on in. Free food. I don't know if he's gonna wanna go in there. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm scared of the, everyone, dark. I won't keep swimming in this heap deep black. I know I made a promise, but this fish is heading back. Oh, he looks so scared. Then a whisper, now familiar, whisked away his dread. You can do it, Mr. Fish, her sweet voice said. Though there wasn't any light, not the smallest slim of glimmer, Mr. Fish felt braver. What is it to be brave? Think about what is it to be brave? We'll talk about that in the end. Cheered on by Miss Shimmer, two are faster than a sailfish. Two are stronger than a shark. Two are smarter than a dolphin. Two are bigger than the dark. So they're helping each other. Isn't that what a good friend does? So they swam down together holding fin to fin, when suddenly, amazingly, light shone on. It's not dark anymore. Mr. Fish said, yes. Miss Shimmer shouted, yay. There's Mr. Clam's pearl. Hooray, hooray. Look as she's helping with the light. What a helpful friend. They smooched Mr. Lantern. Mr. Lantern was the one that helped. Then they smiled as they swam, weaving back through the water to a happy Miss Clam. So I, it looks like they're bringing her what they found. So what was that? The whole gang gathered, feeling glorious and proud, and they swam in a circle as they sang out loud. The ocean is wide and the ocean is deep, but friends help friends. That's a promise we keep. They're helping each other just like we help each other in the classroom. We are bigger, yes, bigger, always big. Big, bigger. Than the dark. 
So now that the story is over, we're going to think about the problems in the story and the solutions and if we can help with some solutions with our solution suitcase. All right, that end.